case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 1984 the minnesota supreme court heard cretex companies inc v construction leaders inc a case embroiled in a dispute over performance bonds issued by Travelers Indemnity Company for utility construction projects undertaken by Construction Leaders, Inc. The court was asked to determine if unpaid suppliers or subcontractors, otherwise known as material men, could be seen as third-party intended beneficiaries under Travelers Bonds. Construction Leaders, Inc. defaulted on their projects, leaving the subcontractors and suppliers unpaid. Backed up by Northland Mortgage Company, Travelers Indemnity Company had supplied performance bonds for these projects, leading to the central question, can unpaid material men be considered third-party intended beneficiaries under these bonds? Investigating factors including duty owed, intent to benefit tests, and the intention behind the surety ship contract led the court to conclude that the unpaid material men could not infer such benefit. Therefore, these unpaid subcontractors and suppliers were not indeed intended third-party beneficiaries of Traveler's Performance Bond. Furthermore, the court ruled in a way that could be a future guidebook for similar cases. It asserted that for a third party to make any recovery from a surety bond, explicit or implicitly outlined intent to benefit third parties, subcontractors and material men, is required. While lion holders did have a right to payment, non-lion holding subcontractors could not tap into the bond for their unpaid dues. This landmark ruling reversed the decision of the trial court, marking a change in favor of Traveler's Indemnity Company. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.